Bubble Cops AI. Like, this was uploaded an hour ago from the internet anarchist. Never watch Ninja, he's not even an anime girl. <laughs> like, chat. <laughs> chat, chat, chat. Do you remember Krabble Cops AI? Do you remember this uncanny er uh, era which lasted for like a couple of weeks where it got viral? This is a good video, Kitsu. It came out an hour ago! How do you know? How do you know? You've been in my chat this entire time! <laughs> Jess, you've been in my chat since we started stream two and a half hours ago! <laughs> Have you watched the video while being on my stream? Please don't make me listen to his accent. We're gonna watch Internet Anarchist. I don't know if we're gonna hear him talk about him. Like, uh, no, if we're gonna hear Crabble Cop talk himself, double screen. Double screen doesn't matter, like, how dare you watch something else while watching me. Yeah, muted, you're yapping probably. Ah. Let's watch. You'd think that after losing 90% of his viewership, the respect of his audience, 90%? and totally getting roasted by Penguin Zero, that Quibble Cop would take a hint and give up on AI-generated content. Yeah. However, Quibble Cop would do the continued. complete opposite and double down, fully he automating did? his online oh, yeah, presence right. for this better is the last or thing for I remember worse. From I made a mistake. I decided to share Quibble Cop AI with the world. <laughs> and this feels AI-generated. Like, literally his apology feels AI-generated. Um, this is the last thing I remember of his. I'm sorry, who the hell is this? This is a guy who apparently used to make um, Minecraft videos from what I remember. And then he started AI generating his um, Minecraft videos where the AI was literally like commenting on his gameplay videos for some reason. So yeah, that was like huge news like what a year ago maybe yeah i don't know when he wasn't 100 percent ready so let me just say Bushy. everyone has ever said about quibble cup ai has been heard every me... bit of criticism oh my God, my Hi, i'm the internet anarchist i create weekly youtube documentaries and today we'll be looking into what has become of a former youtube legend quibble cop after he jumped headfirst into the world of ai generated content last year i uploaded a video covering quibble cop's decline so and it was a year ago i was content, right which you can find in the description below but in this video we'll be looking into whether or not As he he succeeded his ex, and what really? actually happened to his channel I don't however even know. to cut a long story short quibble cop was a youtuber who built his career on oh, worthwhile there it is. collaborations, a strong connection with his viewers, and by constantly uploading dozens of viral Let's Play videos. We're gonna do this race, <gasps> all these races, in first close. person. Now, we're not first person right now, but we're gonna switch it. Jilly, are you oh. ready to do this? I'm, I'm first ready. person on my yes. bike. Oh my god. Let's go! This strategy the took audio was giving me zero to over 5 million subscribers, what the fuck? with tens of millions of monthly views in little over Nine a decade. Years ago, Sadly, Jesus. this blueprint and success that came with it had some unintended side effects. Not only did Quibble Cop suffer from extreme burnout and loss of motivation for doing YouTube, but he sought out a remedy to the situation that only harmed his reputation and channel growth even further. By 2021, Quibble Cop would attempt to reignite his love for content creation by launching an AI-based YouTube channel named Blue. While the channel oh, yielded considerable success this. with over 1 million subscribers, Wait, its viewer base is comprised almost entirely of children who are only there for oh. overstimulating editing and who hardly engage with the videos, oh, where his video fuck? with over 134,000 views had only 24 comments, making for an extremely low engagement ratio. Not long after, Quibble Cop announced that he was discontinuing his usual upload schedule, okay. diverting his focus to other ventures like NFTs and games. Oh, of course! The of course! Priorities uh, would also change his personal of course it's nft oh my god of course it's nft nah the style of thumbnails yeah that says all doesn't it freaking nft bro oh my god why do always lead back to nfts values as quibble cop developed a habit of flexing mercedes the of his success. oh my god i bought the most exclusive car in the world why is it always the same formula, man? Why are all these people always using the same formula? I did this extremely uh, random thing. I bought this extremely uh, expensive item to show off to my community. Kitsukon when? Like, who cares? 
this? Who the fuck has this? These actions. Oh wow! You you. <laughs> It can drive that fast? Where are you gonna drive that fast? Where the hell are you gonna drive that fast? Yeah, go on, tell us. Where? It's not allowed anywhere apart from in Germany, from what I know. He's not only further alienated his fan base, but drew uh, criticism from is. other creators like Charlie, who used yeah, to enjoy the German. type of YouTuber Quibblecop once was. But now, see, his content is nothing more than a soulless cash grab. If I want to build tons and tons and tons of channels that will flourish and shine forever, we need to remove the human element. <laughs> <laughs> That's spoken like a man who really cares about the content. Yeah. If I'm to own five million channels, I realize the weakest link is the goddamn human. Organic is cringe. Machines are the way I do it. As this if predicting guy. the future, Charlie observed that the new Quibble Cop was more interested in pumping out as many videos as possible for sake of ad revenue rather Legit? than expressing creativity or Bro, if someone's in only for the money, you can tell instantly. You can fucking tell instantly if someone's only in for the money because they they show no interest in the actual content that's being created and if there's no heart and soul behind the content that's being created, people don't- people can tell and they don't like it. I- I got us Neurosummer. Neurosummer is the exception, not the rule. Neurosummer is the ex exception, not the rule. I just got back home. What we're watching? Uh, we're watching what happened to Quibble Cops AI. Creating authentic content. You can start as many channels as you want because they all function under the same brand. It's like Spider-Man, okay? There's so no, many different spider man Why do you view that as a good thing? I mean, for you, I get it because it's a lot of money owning all those channels yeah, and all the, the ad the, revenue. For him, he's just but for the, as someone who keeps money. presenting himself as a guy who doesn't care about the money and does it for good content, how can you possibly sit here and try and convince your audience of Quibble Flops that this is a good thing? <laughs> the in flops. the months that followed, Quibble Cop would aggressively push to fully automate his channel with is. AI technology, from testing shit, an man. AI model that runs like, its own why? podcast to launching an AI clone of himself. What's the point? Quibble Cop's primary goal was to replace his entire creative process with cold, emotionless technology. Jax, please, pretty please. Oh, do we have two cows? No, we don't. Oh, okay. You can join the family. I'm gonna name you. As you did. What now? He's gonna name the cow. What now? That model looks so bad. It does. It looks so freaking bad. And like, if you're gonna go the AI route, why don't you do it like near summer and make it a VTuber? Like, like literally make it a VTuber. I, like, Chat. I think if he made the avatar a VTuber, it would have actually worked out. Because it looks so weird, it just didn't. Is this model from The Sims? I don't fucking know what this model is from. Look at the model's eyes, it's so uncanny. Like, I genuinely believe it, if he made it a VTuber, it would have uh, taken off. It's execution though, Nero is pretty good content. Nero is good content. You can join the family. I'm gonna name you. What is it? Name? As you'd expect, the video was received extremely negatively by fans, and Quibble Cop earns another roasting from Penguin Zero, aka Charlie. <laughs> this is something dislikes. he's extremely proud of and thinks is a good thing. There is I nothing really good about why. replacing people with AI across the board. Yeah. It's only good for him because he can make a lot of money off of it without ever doing anything at all. Yeah. So here's one of his tweets about the AI video, just to give you a little insight. He didn't lift a finger, something that he proudly yep. proclaims here. Yep, yep. Vino constantly improves Nero and does stream with her too. Yeah, I love her, man. I love Nero Summa. Oh, uh, Nero Summa's so funny. It is fully completed work without him ever actually being present for it. While the entire YouTube community could see the glaring issues with pumping tons of Solar's AI garbage, Quibble Cop was completely oblivious and adamantly defended his AI creations. Enough is enough! I'm not gonna take this anymore! The same could be said for you! What you do is sit down and react to content! Are you really trying to tell- Okay, okay, first of all, you little shit, let me defend my content, okay? Let me defend my content. I actually give opinions on the matter. I actually add to the content, you little fucking piece of shit, okay? I actually give an interaction to chat. I 
on top of that i'm streaming it so it's streaming content on top of it it's being streamed right i have chat here chat is adding to the conversation too this is what i'm doing is transformative content you little fucking piece of shit what you're doing is nothing nothing your content is completely ai generated and zero value zero value I am doing transformative content. I'm giving opinions. Opinions. I'm adding facts. I'm giving history. Whatever the fuck I can, okay? People, even though I hate calling this myself, people call me based for a reason, okay? Piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. Kids is going to war right now. Literally, um. <laughs> I literally had to defend my content. As much as I joke about React content being easy and giving zero value, React content... People enjoy React content. Do we have a P-counter? <laughs> we could create a P-counter. If you guys wanted to, we could create a P-counter. Like... I love joking about reaction content, right? I love joking about reaction content and calling it easy content, easy to create and all that shit, right? Like, yes, reaction content is among the easiest to create, okay? Reaction content is among the easiest contents to create out there. But constantly also, like, thinking about shit, like, adding to it, sometimes I just don't want to think. Sometimes I just don't want to think. Yeah, bad reaction content at the moment also has the broadest appeal besides yapping and just chatting. I agree, like, yapping? <laughs> reaction content is actually on the rise again. Like, reaction content had a peak, like, some years ago, and then people just kind of stopped watching it, and then, at the moment, it's up again. Like, at the moment, reaction content is up again. Sometimes you want to slap a wolf it, literally, though. Literally, though. Sometimes you just want to go like, Oh, shiny color. Whoa, it's a basketball. Wow, dude, he scored a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to go there. Yeah, reaction content became fresh again because of VTubers. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, that, that is more difficult than to make an entire AI video. Yes, it is actually. From Cop's perspective, Piece of shit. there was no need to take any form of criticism seriously since he assumed the pivot to ad generated content would eventually pay off, leaving viewers with the big question Was Quibble Cop's bet on AI going to pay off, or was he simply throwing away his career and reputation for nothing? On the 23rd of September 2023, Quibble Cop made a shocking announcement on Twitter that read yeah. the end of Quibblecop AI. For the first 60 yeah, seconds right. of the video, Quibblecop yeah, lamented right. the failures of Quibblecop AI and that despite having his dream job as a YouTuber, he'd always- If you get content by not just changing the type of content you do help. It does. It does. Like, um, some days, uh, some weeks ago i was actually feeling like le just like not reacting and I, instead i did just yap and just game and it did help uh, and it did help can change some things uh changing helps like uh, 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 b -b -b verifying no that's not the word but like adding variety to the content you do make does help it does help it's can you all take this guy off our hands we don't want him anymore <laughs> feel like quitting even a dream job can't stop me from growing so up confused and, growing long, we say. and this made me realize it this is not something the i'll be able yeah, to do for the rest of my life that's there true. will that always true. be a point where i'll end up quitting that might be now that might be 10 years from now that might be 50 years from now quibble cop would continue by addressing the criticism from fans over their preference for the real him over the artificial clone one of the arguments i kept hearing the over and don't over line up. yeah because it's ai that they want this is to AI see generated. Me the real me but i kept thinking this is the real me this is my creativity on the surface it seemed quibble cop was starting to come to his senses and no, understand this is, why this is literally so ai generated for his AI flavored content however that idea would be completely shattered by what quibble cop said next Here it is. that's why we decided to train a brand new quibble cop 2.0 <laughs> model with is. every bit of feedback we've received there and the is. results they're astonishing Every second you've been watching of this video so far has been completely AI generated. The Quibble Cup you're seeing on the screen right now is not really me. I 
hope this video wow. provides a no better way. glimpse into the vision that we have for no way. So please consider subscribing and enjoy the story no. the real Quibble Cup wants to tell. This, this is the last thing I remember off of him. Story of Quibble Cup AI. Looking back, there were a few key elements that gave away the video was AI generated, such as the out of sync voiceover, stilted yeah. hand gestures, and jerky facial expressions. However, not every Did viewer would have paid close him? enough attention to notice, and simply assumed Quibblecop was giving up on AI based on the headline alone. While the video was undeniably a provocative demonstration of Quibblecop's latest AI model, fans that did notice weren't convinced, with one stating, Why don't you just be a YouTuber the way it's meant to be? Literally. Meet some new people and read ignite the passion. Yeah. This has no soul. No literally wants doesn't. This. To which Quibble Cop would respond with, meant to be, so you're telling me there is a tutorial? When I started 11 years ago on YouTube, there was no guidebook and there still isn't. Just be creative and get people to watch your content. That's what true creativity is. Chat, let me tell you, this actually is a good response from him. Like this actually is a good response, right? I do think this is a good response. But there's no creativity in the things that he's doing. There's no creativity in the things that he's doing is the issue. There's no creativity in there. That's the issue here. To everyone watching, claiming AI-generated content was an expression of creativity was like comparing instant cup noodles to a gourmet meal. Good response, bad application, yep. was too stubborn to see that. In Quibblecop's mind, only two things- <laughs> Chat? I think he AI generated that response. Chat, I actually think he AI generated the response. There's no way he wrote the response himself. It has to be ChatGPT, yeah? Oh my god, it has to be ChatGPT. <laughs> content was an expression of creativity was like comparing instant cup noodles to a gourmet meal. But Quibble Cop was too stubborn to see that. In Quibble Cop's mind, only two things would track, seemed to yeah. matter. That his generative videos looked like his original content and that they were garnering views. But once again, Charlie would tear down this line of thinking. On the 24th of September 2023, Charlie would upload a video titled He Lied to You, in which he shared his thoughts on Quibble Cop AI 2.0 and reiterated how damaged Steve this Jobs method of content creation was. I hope this video provides a better glimpse and a future in which influencers- Charlie wearing the black shirt, you know shit's real. You know shit's about to go down. Can ...use AI to enhance their storytelling. Lower the barriers of entry. There has never been a lower barrier of entry to any job position in the world quite like content creation. There has never been something with a lower barrier of entry. Completely talentless, right completely Charlie. effortless, you can do it. No benefit to using AI as some kind of lower barrier of entry. In fact, it's only a higher one because you have to pay Quibble Cop for it. Following this, Charlie addressed the inherently deceitful nature of Quibblecop AI, despite its creator's claims of being a content enhancement this tool. He keeps trying to fall back Literally. on this copium that That's it's what there I'm to doing. enhance content. That's literally what I'm doing, just BS, man. Literally what I'm doing. <laughs> this barrier of entry normally is having a good mental health. You need to... Are you saying the barrier of entry is uh, when you uh, have a good mental health, so you gotta have bad mental health? <laughs> to be a content creator, I agree. <laughs> I wish I could make money by yapping. Uh, try it. It's fun. I can yap about the most dumb things. <laughs> Well tried then. Go for it. Kids a sniper wolfing us. <laughs> cool. He keeps trying to fall back on this copium that it's there to enhance content, but it's not. It's just purely a detriment. No one is clicking on a Quibble Cop video hoping to find a robot impersonating him. The negativity towards Quibble Cop AI only increased with each passing day, as several commentary creators published videos expressing their disgust over the Solar's generative content. It's not you or your creativity, it's just shit. It's just True. laziness it is. and yep. disillusion. And it makes me yep. a little upset. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a, little, a small amount fired up right now. I do not <gasps> like AI content, I think it's fucking terrible. To make matters worse, it appears that improvements to Quibble Cop AI were only skin deep as the actual audio Quibblepop's, uh, Quibblepop's audience grew up that might be it that might be it that he just started falling off because only children were watching him storytelling was still lacking his first video with the ai 2.0 is out and it is atrocious all right guys time to oh. go into this very beautiful looking house hello oh, welcome boy. to your new home check it out this actually looks pretty nice it does 
He also That's looks so like creepy. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Despite the overwhelming hate for his project, Quibblecop continued to improve his AI doppelganger and announced it would be able to play Minecraft on its own, with a tweet reading, Quibblecop AI can now play Minecraft all by itself. I swear, if he went from a different angle at this, like if he went to the angle that Weedle did with Neurosoma, he could have popped off. He could have popped off, but there actually is no passion behind it because Weedle actually has passion behind Nero. Like, bro, he could have popped off. He had the right formula, but he made it fail. Quibblecop AI can now play Minecraft all so by you better itself. Become AI. Unfortunately, viewers weren't never. as excited about the announcement. Never, never, with never. comments reading, we don't care. Nobody cares. This ratio can play Minecraft all by itself. <laughs> However, Yo. by early November 2023, Quibblecop couldn't resist the urge to respond to the hate and uploaded a now deleted video titled Why am I still getting hate? hate? In addition to talking about some minor <laughs> drama with his previous friend group, Quibblecop took a brief moment to address the haters. You guys don't like Quibblecop. Cup AI. You have to understand that the oh, real the Cup man. has moved on, and I understand why you guys are upset about that. Then why are you still making content? The reality here. What the reality Cup is why are you still making content? That his audience didn't hate the AI model for its appearance, but for the fact he was masquerading a lifeless replica as a creative innovation. Yeah, the AI that was is. only able to poorly mimic Cup's previous videos and failed to provide the authenticity, likability, or creativity that made him famous to begin with. Charlie was right when he said the only one who truly benefited from the advancements in Quibblecop AI himself. was Quibblecop himself. Yeah. However, as we'll soon see, that wouldn't be the case for much longer. At the beginning of 2024, Quibblecop hey, enlisted hey, hey. all of his videos from the previous year, with the hopes of allowing viewers to forget his past AI blunders and give his channel a fresh start. Wait, Unfortunately, what? that would prove to be more difficult than Quibblecop Wait, what? anticipated, as his first video of the year received far fewer views than its predecessors and was also heavily disliked by fans with the video gaining 5.8k wait, wait 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 did he make this one on his own wait 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 is this AI or is this doing it on, on his own? In Quibblecop AI was Quibblecop himself. However, as we'll soon see, that wouldn't be the case for much longer. At the beginning of 2024, Quibblecop unlisted all of his videos from the previous year, with the hopes of allowing viewers to forget his past AI blunders and give his channel a fresh start. Unfortunately, that would prove to be more difficult no than way. Quibblecop anticipated, as his first video of the year received far fewer views than its predecessors and was also heavily disliked by fans with the video gaining 5.8k dislikes compared to just 867 likes. While a majority of the negativity could be attributed to Quibblecop still relying on AI, a good portion of it could be due to the video giving fans a direct comparison between him and his clone. All right, we need to protect this chest full of diamonds and I'm going to start off with a little bit of cobblestone, okay? okay? All right, so here we go. I got this beautiful chest over here with all these diamonds. I'm just gonna be placing it somewhere else though. So let me just, uh, yep, grab this chest and the diamonds. From glitching voiceovers to repetitive speech patterns, Quibblecop AI still paled in comparison to the original, and this would only become more apparent with each subsequent upload. Nero, Samantha, and Kitsunero, all of it is confirmed. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Nero is hosted on a channel that still has the human touch. Yeah, yeah. Nero Summer is a far more superior. All of the newer long form videos on Quibble. As I said, uh, Vidal actually has passion behind Nero Summer, and Vidal is actually adding so much creativity to Nero. Cop's channel failed to surpass 100. Watching this from views, VR chat right which is now, a what the cry fuck? From how he performed in 2023 and 2022. Eventually, Quibble Cop would recognize the downsides of AI and start creating full oh, videos without it. Now? But this didn't do much to remedy the situation. Yeah, As too one late. commenter would put it, the damage is done. You're too late, man. Yep, Quibble Cop tried to supplement his view count with AI short form content, but it wasn't anything to write home about. Whoa, check this out. This hammer and sand combo is crazy cool okay. tapping out an epic geometric puzzle oh it's chat this is the sniper wolf content this is sniper wolf content oh my god he's doing a sniper wolf getting shinier silver play button here we come 
The only other public channel under Quibble Pop's control fuck? that was moderately successful was the Blue Channel, which was still putting out repetitive daily uploads. Oh In a God. bid to capitalize on this success, Quibble would create a similar channel under the name Blue and Red. What but the sadly, fuck? the child-centric viewer base didn't carry over, as the channel barely has a thousand subscribers and garners less oh, than 3k unlucky. views on average. Despite the current state of his YouTube platform, Quibble is still optimistic about his AI models. No In DM way. to me, Quibble shared oh, advancements he and his team have made with Quibble Cop 2.0. Quibble Cop AI can speak 25 different languages. Current public version we are testing takes a video and does the entire reaction and editing to this video. You can even ask it to do commentary in a certain style. No Quibble Cop AI can also play Minecraft and react to it while playing. No. So a proper Minecraft Let's Play is possible. He even expressed plans for Quibble Cop 3.0. We plan to launch Quibble Cop AI 3.0 in the next three months. Not only will it react to a video, no it will way. also generate the video it reacts to. One huge no. feedback point we received was about the fairness of reacting to someone else's video. Generating the video we react to should solve this problem. This means that the entire video is 100% generated AI. The entire production of the video too. The audio, the video, everything you see. Quibble hopeful outlook for Quibble Cop AI 3.0 can also be seen on his Twitter, where he frequently posts about the model's performance and efficiency, with a tweet reading, Quick Quibble Cop AI update. Achieved a 80% cost reduction thanks to our new partner, Argil.ai. Further fuck? optimization achieved too. Next milestone is 100% Gen AI content and 100% autonomy. Things autonomy. are about to get crazy. No, only not. time will tell if no, Quibble Cop AI not. will live up to his own expectations. But for now, we can only speculate on what the YouTube landscape would be oh like if such an AI model were to succeed or fail. Regardless of what happens, Quibble Cop's experiment with AI will leave Welcome a mark back, on the Uranium. YouTube community, either as a laughing stock or as a start of an AI uprising. Whilst Quibble Cop is controversial, at least it's not I'm Alex, who lost respect oh from his gosh. entire audience in just five days. Click the video on screen to find out more. We watched that video. We did watch that video. Oh my god. By having his dream job as a you. I. Bro, he's so on it. He still wants to push it further while his audience is constantly saying this is bad, this doesn't track. Like, how? How are you so delusional? What do we learn today? We learned that don't AI generate your fucking content. Maybe the bots in the comments will like the AI content. <laughs> <laughs> humans are stupid. Humans are stupid. That is true. That is true. AI voices suck. They do. One day, one day we will get AI content that is good, that people do want to watch. Today is not that day. Next year is probably not that year either. In the future, AI will be very, very, very huge. I do believe that. There's, there's no stopping AI, but at the moment, there's no creativity behind this. I'd really rather not. Unfortunately, it is the future. It is the future. The future is fucked. Yeah. AI can't rep replicate emotion and tone properly, and it just sounds so painfully fake. At the moment. That is at the moment. Do you really think uh, humans are not going to get to the point where they can replicate it? AI girlfriend coming? 100% they're coming. They're on the way. The future is fucked with or without AI. That is true. That is true. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. Already. Thanks, YouTube, for watching. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press a bell button or something. I don't know. Am I a real YouTuber yet? Am I a real YouTuber yet? Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!